Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to The Last Homely House. I'm Kate and today I want to tell you about some more of the things that are in the Christmas boxes 2022. I make this little series explaining what all the things are in the boxes and the first night I told you about the little Christmas trees that I've made for you and then last night you saw John, my son, making the candle holders for your beeswax candles that Anna and I wrapped in this lovely tissue paper. So those are the first couple of videos there. And tonight's video is all about the printed things that are in the boxes. So each year I like to do a number of different things that different people print for me. And so um, there's um, the little book, there's the Christmas cards, uh, the uh, special thing that Martha and Adam designed for me, all of those things, and a little sweet little sticker too. So that's all coming up now in this video, and uh, so enjoy. I'm doing a little bit of writing here. Anytime I get a spare few minutes or an idea, I like to sit here and just write a little bit. I'm writing all sorts of things, but at the moment, in the middle of August, I'm writing the Christmas book, the book that goes in the Christmas boxes. Every year, there's a little book that's exclusive to the Christmas boxes. And this year, I'm just getting this finished so that I can send it to my uh, friends, the printers, who will do a really great job of doing the layout for me. And this year, every year, I think, what should the theme of the book be? And this year it's all about community and uh, how we create community in all sorts of different ways. Because I think of all of you lot on my lime green sofa as being my community. But in this book, I talk to you about quite a number of things that uh, I was involved with before. I even started a YouTube channel. So this is the um, rough draft and I'll send this off to Charles at uh, my printers and he will work his magic and make it look absolutely beautiful. I've uh, found lots of uh, pictures are here uh, that I want to put uh, in the book and they're, they're all kind of here on my desktop. Uh, there's another one. And um, I won't show you that one because that's a little bit, <laughs> a, that would be a surprise for you. <laughs> but there's lots and lots of different images that I've found from my photographs that I'm going to be including in this book. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to see, seeing what Charles does with the layout of this one. And this will be one of the many things that are in your Christmas boxes. So Anna and I are doing some filming today and some photographing. And in fact, if you watch the video of making the calendar images, uh, it's the same day as when we filmed the um, notice board for the calendar, for whatever page that is. Now, every year when we do the Christmas boxes, we do a pack of Christmas cards. And Anna and I, looked at some of the images that we took last year for the calendar um, picture for the chandelier and there were some really 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 nice images but there weren't enough we had this idea that we would make cards from little snippets of beautiful ornaments on my chandelier and that's what the cards in your Christmas boxes this year are going to be now it's July in the UK, we're in the middle of a heat wave. And so Anna and I have closed all the curtains. We've lit the candles on the chandelier and I'm polishing all the bits of dust. It's amazing how dusty something like this gets without you realizing. And so what I'm doing at the moment is we're just cleaning some of the ornaments here. I've lit the candles and we're going to take some images of uh, some of these um, ornaments that I've collected over the years for your Christmas cards. So even though it's July the 
tents or something. That's what I'm busy doing. I really like some of these things. There's some such special memories with some of these things here. This lovely thing here was a gift from some friends of mine. And uh, it's just such a delicate little uh, book uh, ornament here. Uh, this one, uh, where is it now? Let me find it. Oh, it's here, because I've, I've taken this one down. I'm going to polish this one and put it back up again. But this is one that Martha made me, which is a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> and I really like that. It was years and years ago when she was much, much younger. So there's that one. Um, there's some lovely glass. I think that looks like a soap bubble. I really like that one. You may see some of these images in your Christmas cards that are in the Christmas boxes this year. This is a little um, ornament that I bought. I think I've got three of these that I bought a few years ago. Uh, and they're just so pretty old vintage glass ornaments. But these ones, now I've got a few of these. There's another round one over there. And these have got a special memory for me because I remember the year my mum was really poorly and I was going up and down the motorway to um, to help them and look after them before she died. And every time I would pass by this same service station and these were for sale and I bought one every time I passed by and I ended up with a lot. <laughs> Here's another one here. And so these have got a special significance for me here. I like them a lot. So Anna and I are going to swelter away in, in July for the Christmas cards for the Christmas boxes. Hi Anna. Hey. This has just arrived. Ooh. Let's come and see. I'm excited about these. I know what they are, but I don't know if they're any good. <laughs> ah. Now, these. Oh, I do like them. Oh, cool. These are the stickers that are going to go in the Christmas boxes as your little free gift. Oh, I love them. I love them. They're just the best. It's the picture that, uh, the image that Martha did of me sitting on the lime green sofa with a cat on my knee. And I am more pleased with them than I can tell you. So another of the things that's in this year's Christmas boxes is this tote, which is a really decent sized tote that my daughter Martha designed all these lovely cats and her partner Adam laid them all out in this lovely way. Uh, it's a really good size and if anyone's got the tea towel from the last homely house it's printed on the same half Panama fabric which is really good quality fabric. I made a little label here which has got uh, the same cat on it here and this is such a lovely bag. I'm going to embroider some of my cats, I think, uh, just like I've been starting to embroider my tea towel. And so this one then, beautifully wrapped up here with some gold ribbon. Let me show you how that's going to look in your Christmas box. Some gold ribbon to stay with our theme of pink and gold. And then I'm going to tie that up like that. And that'll be another of the things inside your Christmas box. So a bit earlier in this video you saw Anna and I getting the chandelier ready to take some photographs. That was way back in the summer when we did that but the cards are here now and they're ready to go in your Christmas boxes and uh, I couldn't be more pleased with them so I'm going to show you them one at a time. Uh, we've got this lovely cat here, the soap bubble, this one which I always think looks a bit like a crown, little stained glass thing. That's that uh, ornament I was telling you about, uh, and then the hen. So those are the ones we chose to go in the uh, packs of cards, and now they're all packed and ready to go in your Christmas boxes. 
So the final little thing that was printed for the Christmas boxes is the little book that I make every year. It'll look like this in your box in an envelope with a white dot on it and here it is. And I'm not going to say too much about it because I like to keep something a little bit secret in the boxes. So there you go. Uh, that's all the printed things and tomorrow we'll be showing you us packing all of these things into the boxes. Uh, and so thanks so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow night with the packing video.